Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today is 11th March. We are going to discuss about the chapter number 18, Mathematics, Exercise 18C in Grade 6. And I warmly welcome to all of you students in this online class. So the first question of this exercise is 4 equal x plus 2. And this, this is called the equation 4 equal x plus 2. Whenever two values combined together with the equal sign, it means that this is called equation. And in this equation, we need to find the value of x. <coughs> Sorry. We need to find the value of x. When you bring this 2 to the other side of the equation, it will change the sign. Now this 4 minus 2 equal x. And it means that the value of x is equal to 2. Next question number 2. 6 equal x minus 3. Now the equation is 6 equal x minus 3. Now when you bring this minus 3 to the other side of the equation here, it will change the sign because here now it is negative. When you bring to the other side, it will become positive. And now it's easy for you. 6 plus 3 equal 9. So the value of x is equal to 9 means that the answer is equal to 9. Now question number 15. Now you can see here in question number 15, x plus 6 equal 5. When you bring this 6 to the other side of the equation, this will change to the minus 6. Now it is when you bring 6 to the other side of equal sign, it will become minus 6. x is equal to 5 minus 6. 5 minus 6 equal minus 1. How? Just keep in your mind, whenever the bigger value with minus sign, the bigger value with minus sign, you should be very careful about the sign with the answer. This is the rule for finding this kind of the question, answer. This is called number line. This is called number line. First value is 5. So you can draw the line and write 5. After that, how many values we want to subtract? 6. So we will come towards the left side. If here negative, we will come towards the left side. If it is positive, we will go towards the right side. Because here minus, so we will come towards the left side of that value 5. Now we will draw 6 lines. Why? Because here 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. We draw the 6 lines. Now, before 5, what is 4? Then 3, then 2, then 1, then 0 and then minus 1. So, the answer is minus 1. It means that 5 minus 6 equal minus 1. This is not necessary to draw all the time this, uh, this kind of thing. Just it is for your explanation. You can keep in your mind easily. You can do the directly but must be careful about the negative signs. Now question number 12, one more question. Here the variable is d, not the x. It is not necessary, always will be here x. Here can be a, b, c, d, whatever. 4 and 1 are the constants and d is the variable. It means that we need to find the value of d. When you bring this 4 to the other side, it will be minus. Now d is equals to 1 minus 4. 1 minus 4. Very simple. You can draw the number line here, then 1. After that, we need to go come towards the left side and draw 4 values. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4, then 1, then 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. In this way, the answer is minus 3. Question number 15. When you bring this 6 to the other side, it will become minus. The answer is minus 1. x minus 8 is equal to 1. When you bring this 8 to the other side, it will become positive. 1 plus 8 equal 9. Very simple. y minus 9. Here the variable is now y. Not x, not d, not a. When you bring this 9 to the other side, it will become positive. 14 plus 9. 14 plus 9 equal 23. No need to use the calculator. Always use your mind to find out the values because in grade 6, calculator not allowed. This is the exercise 18C. The remaining all questions is your homework. 
you have to solve in the home and if you have any problem you can contact with me at whatsapp between 9 am to 12 9 am to 12 because in this time i am present in the school for your help and you can whatsapp me any question for the corrections or for the discussion and thank you very much to give me the precious time be hard work and be in touch with me assalamu alaikum